What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and welcome to Scrap Stash Saturday on a Monday because I've changed my upload day, but we're just going to roll with it because Scrap Stash Saturday has been around for a long time and I, I don't want to change the name. It just it has a ring to it. Uh, today I'm, I'm scrapping this photo of some of my bestest Scrappy pals. And I had these little bits of uh, mixed media paper left on my desk and that's what sparked this whole page. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that I wanted to incorporate those little mixed media paper strips uh, in some way. And they are from some jelly plate printing that I did uh, over on my Patreon. I had some little offcuts left uh, and so I really wanted to use them. There's not many of them there. So I wasn't quite sure what I was doing with them, but I knew that I wanted something. So I went through my paper pad and pulled out this white uh, text paper because I thought that these paper strips needed um, a kind of a pale, plainish background where the colour of them could really pop out. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't quite sure what else I wanted to do, but I was thinking that they needed some sort of extra mixed media along with them. So I did a coat of clear gesso in the background because I'm using distress inks. And uh, if I was to use the distress ink just on the paper, the paper would soak them in. It would become really splotchly and the colors wouldn't look good. Uh, so I always do a coat of, of clear gesso over the top. I'm doing the packaging technique, which is the easiest and a little bit of the messiest uh, mixed media technique that you can start getting into. I know that uh, there's a lot of people that watch my videos that don't do mixed media in uh, their pages. And if there ever is a time that you, hello shoulder, uh, if there's ever a time that you want to try mixed media, but you're too worried about it not turning out right, the packaging technique is great because you don't know how it's going to turn out. There's no controlling it. Uh, it is very messy though. So if you don't like mess, it might not be the technique for you. That that particular Distress Ink Pack was very juicy. And uh, so it did come out a little bit more than I was aiming to, but that's okay. I'm drying the layers a little bit uh, in between some of them. And then I'm doing the drippy drop technique where I just add some water to my hand, drop it on the page on the ink and then soak it up and it kind of soaks up some of the color with it. Uh, if you are an OG and you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll know uh, that technique from the old inky days. So this photo was taken, we did a uh, mixed media class uh, near me up at Swansea and we took a photo outside in the beautiful fresh air it was right on the water which was lovely and uh, so that's what inspired me to to use all of the blues because of the the water in the background we're a little bit shaded in this photo but um, the blue is really popping in the background <laughs> uh, and so I I wanted to definitely bring out all of those blues in there so I'm matting my photo down just because I do this to every photo. I, I, I was thinking the other day, I'm like, mm, it would be a lot easier if I just printed my photos with a white border. But sometimes I want to cut the photo down. Like with this one, I cut it down a little bit so it wasn't... Uh, sometimes I don't like having too many 4 by 6 sized photos for my layouts. And I want to just cut it down to a bit of an irregular sized rectangle. Uh, so that's why I don't... Um, I don't often have them printed with a white border. Here I'm, I'm playing with my glue. It's always clogged. It's just... Bleh. Is this the one that I explode glue? There is a video at some point that I've filmed recently where I explode glue everywhere, all over my fingers. And then for the rest of the video, I'm just using my fingers uh, to stick everything down. <laughs> uh, glue and I, we, we do... We have our days where we fight and we don't get along. Uh, but we do have days where we love each other and everything works out. Happy family. So uh, it's just kind of a pick and choose. So I'm starting off. I don't have many of these paper strips. So I started off with the edge of the photo uh, and then trying to work out where the other edge of the photo was. And I am putting those pieces down first because I wanted my photo to uh, overlap the edge of those. 
And then I'm sticking down my photo, but mainly putting glue when it comes out of the bottle in the center of the photo so that I can still kind of tuck bits of paper in uh, the top and the bottom. So I've stuck that down and now I'm going to do some cheating and I'm ripping smaller pieces of the paper to overlap uh, so that it looks like it goes the whole way but it doesn't. Oh it was this video, I did have glue on my finger, I knew it was this video. Uh, and so I'm very sneakily just popping them in the top, popping them in the bottom and so only the people watching this video would know that it's a lie and there's not paper behind it. Uh, so this is a great technique when either you don't have a lot of paper left or you, you, like you're working with a little scrap that you are including or you don't want to waste uh, a lot of paper. It's an easy way to, to give an illusion. So I really am loving the way that that looks and uh, I really love the pop of pink too. Even though that none of us are wearing that pinky colour, I it's a nice bright, very bright pop. I'm using some of these uh, little stars from Citrus Twist and then also trying to work out what on earth I'm going to call this page because I needed to figure out if I was doing a big title or a small title. And so I'm going through some of my uh, most recent thicker purchases because they were on my desk and I settled on this typewriter font because I thought the black really gave it a bit of a pop and um, I was going to say pow and pop at the same time and so it came out as a pop which isn't really a word so we're just going to just going to roll with that and ignore that I <laughs> made that noise uh, and so I decided to call it time to create and draw in some of the pink uh, with these teeny tiny alphas from Citrus Twist. So I'm just sticking those down. And then I did buy several packets of these gold stars because they're the type of embelly that I don't, I either just want to use like one or the entire pack. And uh, so for this page, I did have to restrain myself a little bit. So we've just gone straight to finger because I'm right at the end of this bottle of glue and it just was not working with me at all. Uh, so I'm sticking those stars down and then I knew I wanted to do a tiny bit of journaling but not too much. I uh, already had a Project Life page uh, opposite this layout that went with this day. It was a two-day class and I had already journaled about what we were doing, who was there, why we were there. Uh, and all of the, the information so I didn't need to add too much I love it when you have already done the journaling for a specific uh, event on a different page and so you don't have to worry about leaving a big chunk of space so that you can still include it uh, actually here's a question do you if you do project life and you do traditional layouts as well do you house them in the same album or do you do separate albums? Um, because I found that my scrapping changed dramatically when I put them together because I wasn't double scrapping uh, photos anymore. But I, and it does change, I think, the way I, I tend to do a lot more of my journaling on my Project Life pages instead of my layouts. And I don't know. I don't know why that is I don't know if it's just because traditionally I didn't do a lot of journaling on my layouts anyway um, but yeah let me know if you combine them or if they're separate that tag uh, that says oh happy day was a DIY embellishment that I made over on my patreon page and I just thought that it it worked out because it had the bright pinks and the blues but then it had this yellow that Yes, it doesn't belong anywhere else on the page, but I don't know, it's yellow always just reminds me of sunshine and kind of outdoors. Oh, and I put my finger in the glue. Rookie mistake. Now I've got glue everywhere. Um, and I just feel like yellow, like green, I just associate them with outside. So if I'm scrapping a photo of outside, it it just makes sense to, to add a bit of yellow, even if there's no other yellow on the page as well. Felt like my stars needed some friends. So I got some little sprinkly gold stars that I'd punched out of my glitter cardstock. And I'm just plonking them here and plonking them there. Uh, P.S. peeps, this video is going up at the start of October. And I have hopefully announced an inky quill scrap stream. 
by now or there is one in the works coming for October or November. So make sure that you follow me over on uh, Instagram because that's probably the easiest way to, to keep track of the announcement uh, or on my Facebook page, Inky Quill, or on my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous. I'll be posting it everywhere when I know when it is. Uh, I've just got to work out um, with the kidlets if they can go and hang with the grandparents for a little while just to make uh, the scrap stream a little bit easier. Howdy shine! Shake, 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 shake your howdy shine. Really, really, really shake your howdy shine. Oh, that was, oh, that last note. I really can't sing. Please don't think that I think I can sing because I know, I really, really know that I can't. Uh, it's just, if you're new to my videos, it's just a bit of fun that we do over here because you know what, when you have a year like this year's been, or even just in general, it's nice to just have a bit of a laugh. And if you haven't noticed, I don't take myself too seriously, uh, jazz hands. And so, uh, it's nice to just kind of make fun of myself sometimes. <laughs> All right, this page is all done, peeps. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help me out. Uh, even if you don't comment on my videos all of the time, a thumbs up really does a lot for my channel uh, and helps me be discovered by new inklets in the recommended videos. And look at this baby muffin. She's so tiny here. I filmed this video before we moved house and she's just sleeping there, keeping me company. All right, peeps, I'll see you very soon. Bye.